Lepra Health in Action is a charity that runs healthcare projects all around the world. The following documentary focuses on the Mungo Referral Unit in the state of Bihar, India. Mungo Referral Unit offers testing, diagnosis and ongoing treatment for various diseases such as TB, malaria, HIV AIDS, Kalajar and lymphatic filariasis. As well as this, every day there is a clinic where people from all around Mungo come to see a doctor and receive medication free of charge. It also runs community healthcare education programs. These education programs are particularly important in the treatment of Kalajar or black fever. This is a disease spread by sandflies that live in the mud walls of people's houses. The first sign of this disease is a fever, so many people do not seek medical attention. As the disease progresses, the skin blackens and the spleen expands, leading to a swollen stomach. Left untreated, the disease is fatal. The healthcare education program aims to make the symptoms of the disease common knowledge, to encourage early detection and treatment. There is also a physiotherapy department dealing with the prevention of disability. One patient visiting this department was Shishida Prasad. He has lymphatic filariasis, a disease spread by mosquitoes, which results in abnormal fluid retention. The effects of the disease cannot be completely eradicated, but these cleaning practices can prevent infection and worsening disability. After suffering from the disease for 30 years, in four months of treatment, Mr. Prasad has had a 30% reduction in the size of his leg. As well as these self-care cleaning practices and exercises taught to the patients, specialist footwear that help prevent damage and infection can be made on site. Mungo Referral Unit also provides counselling sessions to HIV AIDS patients. The patient told the counsellor that she had a urinary tract infection but that her husband was convinced it was AIDS and had thrown her out of the house. The counsellor arranged for the woman to have an HIV test to put her mind at ease and then assured her she would go to the woman's house herself to counsel her husband on the realities of HIV.